Have you ever been in front of a camera when the flash went off and you were blinded in that moment? This is the way that some problems hit us in life. We're blinded by the problems that seem overwhelming. To such a degree, we don't know what to do. We can't see any solution. We can't see past the problem or the challenge because it is so blinding, so overwhelming in our life. What do we do after we are blinded by the problem? We need to remember that God is never blinded by our problems. God is bigger than our problems. God knows the solution to our every problem. And when we realize that, we're empowered in a huge, huge way. Let me tell you the story of one man. For three years, this man went into a period of heavy drinking after being blinded by a problem. He tried to get away from his problem by escaping through alcohol. Many times he would find that he woke up with huge periods of time missing from his memory. And he would wonder, when he woke up, what happened to those days? When he awoke, he would sometimes find himself lying beside a street, somewhere that he would have never been ordinarily if he would have but realized what was going on in his life. What do we do when we get blindsided by problems? How do we overcome this? Do we escape or do we take up God? We solve the solutions with a higher level of mind than that in which the problem was created in the first place. My friend, the only way to permanently solve a problem is with God's ever-present help. When the man that we spoke of a minute ago was last seen, he had tears in his eyes because he had found God. He had felt the presence of God in his life, and for the first time, in years, he had real hope. And he did it all with God's help. A story from John 9, 1 through 11. As he walked along, he saw a man blind from birth. His disciples asked him, Rabbi, who sinned, this man or his parents, that he was born blind? And Jesus answered, Neither this man nor his parents sinned. He was born blind so that God's good works might be revealed in him. Think for a moment about the problem or the challenge that you have brought with you in your worries this particular day. Now think of it in a new way that this has come to you. And for a while, yes, it has blinded you, but now you realize that it's going to be the great help to you because you're going to experience from God a spiritual experience to help you. With God's help, this will be a major turning point in your life. God's, work are, God's works are going to be revealed in your life in a, in a glorious way. Now, Jesus said, We must work the works of him who sent me. While it is day, night is coming, when no one can work. As long as I am in the world, I am the light of this world. And when he had said this, he spat on the ground and he made mud with the saliva and spread the mud on the man's eyes, saying to him, Go and wash in the pool. And he went, and he washed in the pool and came back and was able to see. 
the neighbors, and those that had seen him before as a beggar began to ask, Is this not the man who used to sit and beg? Some were saying, It is he. But others were saying, No, no, it's someone just like him. He kept saying, I am the man. But they kept asking him over and over again, Then how were your eyes opened? And he answered, The man called Jesus made mud and spread it on my eyes and said to me, Go to the pool and wash. And I went and I washed and I received my sight. When we have a problem, we may also have been born blind with that problem. We may have looked at our problem so long that it has blinded us. We didn't know how to solve it. You might have said, what do I do now? Where do I turn? What do I do? How do I take care of this huge challenge that is in my life? Well, this Bible story is telling us that if we mix what we have right now with God, all things are going to work out fine. Now, where was that man standing? He was standing on dirt. That that healed him with a mixture of God. You take the ordinary dirt, in other words, right where you're standing, not where you think the grass is going to be greener. You take that understanding under your feet and mix it with that that is holy and spread it on your problem. And you're going to have sight again. With God's help, it is always miraculous. Everyone is born blind in the beginning of big problems. It startles us. When I have a problem, I have been born blind too. I don't know, especially in the moment, how to solve it. And I try in human mind, but my mind over time goes blind also. I might get ideas for the way to solve it or the direction to go, but they're usually the wrong ideas until I mix with God. That which I already have in me and mix it, and then there is a great solution that is holy. Now, I could have had that problem for years, and I could have done what human mind does, Try to learn to live with it. I could have taken up some habit or device to try to escape, trying in vain to make myself feel better daily. But when I wake up in the gutter, feeling sick, when I have days missing from my life, from worry and not having any self-respect, then I know, I know, that is not the answer. The answer is, is always found in God. I have to turn to God and mix with God and allow the wonderful things to happen again in my life. Now let's say that you have a problem that you are watching this broadcast with. You've had the problem for a long, long time, too long, and you've been blind in that problem. It has been part of your life for so long, it seems like you were born blind as long as you can remember you've had that problem. And by this time, you may falsely believe that it's going to be with you forever. Mix with God. Pray. Talk to God. And then enter the silence of prayer and listen. This is a surrender of the human ways. At first, the human mind wants to hear voices. It wants to hear thunder. It wants to see the sky part and all sorts of wondrous outer things happen. Well, 
This often doesn't happen, and it disappoints us. And as we reflect, we realize that we hear other things, soft, gentle, silent voices. These voices are so silent and gentle that sometimes it takes us days to realize what we have heard and felt. And then if we practice the silence, practice surrendering to God, we hear and we enter into a whole new place, the secret place of the Most High. In this place, you are infilled with a oneness with God that does not have your problems. You're infilled with a majesty that begins to take over and untangle the maze of your life. And how do you know it's working? You begin to feel good again. You still temporarily may have the problem that was there in the beginning, but you have something else. You have hope, and you have anticipation fill you that knows that God is greater than this problem or challenge that you have had in your life. You have a source. You are connected with the source, the solution, and you're connected with the answer. You are not stripped defenseless. You have everything in the world right now, and you know it without doubt. What spiritual power this gives you. God turns the ordinary into the extraordinary inside of you. Jesus mixed himself with God, and this created a great change in those around him. Second, Jesus turned unhappy, depressed people who had been there with their problems so long that they were weighted down by them into joyous people. He brought smiles back to their faces. Third, Jesus turned those that were sick in body back to perfect health. Think about when Jesus turned the water into wine. Think about that in your own life. You might have a whole lot of, of ordinary, ordinary water, but no wine. Extraordinary. You might have a whole lot of the ordinary, but nothing extraordinary or those things that you have dreamed of before in your life. And then... All of a sudden, in an instant, the God-given miracle is yours. When it comes, you know, you realize it's not from you, it's from God. It is because you have surrendered to God. Nothing is impossible with God. Pray from John 5, verses 2 through 9, where it says, now in Jerusalem, by the sheep gate, there is a pool. It has five porticos. In these lay many invalids, blind, lame, and paralyzed. One man was there that had been ill for 38 years. When Jesus saw him lying there, and knew that he had been there a long time, he said to him, Do you want to be made well? And the sick man answered him, Sir, he said, I have no one to help me into the pool when the water is stirred up. And while I make my way, someone else steps down ahead of me. And Jesus said to him, Stand up, take your mat and walk. At once, this man was made well. He took up his mat, and he began to walk. Now here was a man who had stayed in this same place for 38 years. 
for 38 years. He had accepted his problem and for 38 years accepted his challenges and he also accepted the obstructions to solving it. Most of the obstructions to solving our problems are right in here in our own mind. He had decided there was no way for his problems to be solved after this long period of time, and he was ready to argue with any idea that it could be changed for the better. 38 years is nothing to God. When God inspires you, telling you of a perfect way, and it is a different way than you ever conceived of before, you will probably argue. You'll say, no, 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 God, you don't understand. I've tried that. <laughs> Do you remember the story of the fishermen who tried to fish all day long? They were exhausted and they hadn't caught a thing. And then they mixed with God and God told them to go out and try one more time. And they said, paraphrase, they said, no, no, you're crazy. Why should I waste my time? We're tired. They mixed with God one more time. They threw out their nets once more. And they came up with so many fish that it almost broke their nets. When you mix with God in your awareness, it changes everything. Here was a man who had laid there for 38 years. He had hoped for a change, but he had done so in only one way, in his defeated, blinded human mind. He said, well, if I could get in the water while the water is still stirred up, which they believed at that time would cause a healing, then I would have what I need. We think about that too when it concerns our careers. We think about it in the direction of our relationships and the healing in our own bodies. We think if we could get here or there, then we would have our solution. But God is with us right where we are, and that means the solution is right where we are. We waste a lot of time in our life in daydreams that will never work. When we surrender, when we mix with God, when we enter into the silence of prayer and get a new idea, God tells us to stand up and walk. Something spiritually energizing, and powerful happens every time that you connect with God. We may have been in a certain problem for a long time, maybe 38 years or more. We may have immersed ourselves in it. We may be so blinded in it that we are frozen, we're not moving. And God says, stand up and walk. And we say, God, you don't understand. We can't stand up and walk. We tried that before, and God says, stand up and walk. Where do you want to walk, my friend? What is the solution to your problem? Mix with God, and God will give you the way. God will give you the power, the power of true hope, to be motivated to walk. God will give you the power to try again. The power to realize that when you try this time, you're not doing it alone by yourself, but with God's help. And you're radiating differently from inside of you. You're attracting a whole different condition to you because you're willing to surrender to the power and the majesty of God. I bless you this day, and I say to you, with God's help, stand up and walk.